What's good guys, this is going to be a somewhat of a follow-up video to my Should You Create a Cap video. Uh, if you guys have watched that, you know one of my biggest hang-ups with telling you guys that yeah, it's worth it to make a cap was the cap glitch being prevalent, which it still is, and it would still be my recommended method of you guys making a cap. It's going to save you a lot of time, and it's by far the most competitive way to have a cap, especially if you know how to manipulate it. Um... But my biggest hang up was how much time it took to train an actual cap. It took between 12 and 18 hours. And it's still going to take a while with this method. But uh, it's definitely much improved. Should be a lot faster for you guys to go ahead and get done. So what we're going to do, we are going to start a new one. Uh, I have pretty much all the hitter archetypes done. Uh, in theory, this should work with pitching or any other archetype that you want to train. This will not get your program progress done for those archetypes. This will not count towards that. This is only for training, for getting those base attributes higher. So we'll make a new one. I'll make a... Let's go with the Duke, right? We'll go the Duke. We'll go a Power Catcher. Uh, was one of the better archetypes this year. Uh, don't. I would probably run the Tool Shed over it this year, the Contact Archetype. But it's not a bad option, right? So we're going to start this career. Uh, we have our Joe Random roster, so we're really just trying to get there, get situated in the, into that lineup. So we're saying, yeah, I'm the best, whatever, doesn't matter. Then you're going to say, no, I want to play for a different team. Hop on whatever team it is with the Joe Random roster. This, this time it's the Reds for this one. Uh, so we get drafted. We get drafted. Uh, Chris Russo will light us up for being terrible, apparently. Um, and then I'll walk you guys through some of the settings. So, here we are. Career just started. We're going to go over to settings, gameplay. You're going to make sure you're on legend and legend. Do not worry. You're not going to have to play on this. And then we're going to come down to sliders. We're going to get our sliders looking right. I don't know how much it impacts it, but the videos that I've seen have said to do the sliders. All right. So, we're maxing that. If you're a pitcher, maybe you want to mess with some of the pitching. Uh, we're only hitting in this one, so I wouldn't worry about it. Don't know if making errors is going to hurt your fielding or not. Maybe you want to turn that down. Not too sure. Definitely want to turn down the injury frequency. Uh, your player can get injured this year, so that's a big big sticking point. You want to make sure to turn the sliders down, so hopefully you don't get injured. It's still possible, but it's less likely. So we're going to come here. We're going to hit sim season, Getting your first hit out and we're just going to sim, right? We're going to skip Griffey. And bang, right? We're hitting 375 with three home runs. It is basically taking that as if we are doing it, as if we're doing it live in our at bats. So basically, you're just simming. You're literally just sitting here simming. Uh, should see some progression. Let me check the overall and whatnot. We are a 58 overall. We're on the bronze archetype. Let's change that. Just so you guys know, I'm not bumping the uh, bumping the archetype artificially. We'll go ahead and equip all these. Um, we'll do all the equipment and whatnot. Just to let you guys know, I'm not, you know, not deceiving you. Um, the stats should increase as we start to sim. Just pick out all our best equipment. I don't even know if equipment is calculated in the overall, but if it is, you're seeing that I'm putting on all the best stuff. So that's all. Brand new player. If we come to see all attributes, it shows you guys what his base stats are right now. So you can see, right, he has already gained one contact. You see, if a, if a number is uneven, that's because it's been trained, right? They all start at 30 or whatever the archetype starts at. It's always going to be an even number unless it's like 35 speed, something like that. Uh, but you see, I mean, we're at 83 arm. That means that it's already been trained, right? So, when I'm back out here, you'll see we're a 75 overall. We are going to go to view calendar, sim season. And uh, I'll see you guys at the end of the season, give you an update on what it's looking like. So, this is one thing you guys might uh, come across is they say they're already stacked a catcher because the Joe Random roster has a bunch of 99 catchers. So, they ask you to move positions. Uh, I'd say it's not huge to, you know, just get traded. Uh, I think it's more important because if you move positions, I don't think your blocking will improve. Uh, so I would say just request a trade. Every other team sucks. Uh, you'll get less at-bats overall, 
but in general, it should help you more in the long run to, uh, to get traded. So as you guys can see, uh, a couple team changes later, you know, we got traded like the Orioles and got moved up to their AAA affiliate. Uh, the season's coming to an end, and we're going to see how much, if at all, we have improved. It's going to be, we definitely will have improved. Uh, so now, so we are done. That is one season down. Uh, I think we started with what, like 72 or something? We're 78 now. So that's not bad. Uh, I'll send one more season just to show you guys. Um, we sent through the postseason. No, don't want to stop. Uh, advance off season. Skip all these Hall of Fame retirements and whatnot. Uh, make sure you're paying attention and agree to a new offer with your team. Otherwise, you just won't play for the year and you'll sit in free agency and nobody will pick you up. Um, just uh, advance to regular season. You're probably going to start back in AAA, would be my guess, because your attributes aren't that great. View calendar, sim season. I'll see you guys at the end of this season. As you guys can see, we're approaching the end of this season. Um, bad 400 with 80 home runs. Uh, made the playoffs. But let's see where we're at, right? That's what we're here for. See the overall progression of our player. 81 overall, right? Uh, it's not great. It's about one to two points uh, per season after you start getting past that initial part. Uh, but you can see we're up a decent amount on contact, decent amount on power, decent amount... It, it doesn't take that long, right? It takes probably about five to eight minutes to sim a season. Yeah, that's definitely the best way to train your cap now. Uh, overall, you're still probably looking at about four hours of just simming games. Uh, but definitely the best way to do it. If this was at all helpful for you guys, feel free to like and subscribe. Until next time, peace.